Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Podarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarkis' weapons and supplies. Break their supplies, break their will.
Varkis' troops will be helpless. Belling was this much fun. Should destroy these without attracting attention. That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this. And? Is it done? Povarkis' guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? Your destiny is to free the people of Vilos. I still have my own to fulfill. Far from here. Of course. I will always remember what you've done for us. And if the gods will it, I can one day help you. It's time we got going. When Povarkis learns of what happened on Vilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Vilians. Here. <laughs> 